10 outfit ideas, how to make your outfits look expensive and chic. In this video, I'll be sharing how you can make your high street outfits look more expensive and chic without having to blow the budget. So this is 10 outfit ideas and style hacks to elevate any look. Let me start this by saying I'm not actually hugely keen on the term look expensive. I personally don't really feel the need to look or feel like I've got more money than I actually have. But what I do like is my outfits to look refined and elegant, classy and chic. So today I have some style hacks for you all that will hopefully recreate that look. As always, I'd appreciate your support if you'd like to subscribe to my channel. And at the end of this video, open the description box below where you'll find links to all the outfits I featured today, plus a link to all my other social channels. I almost post every day on Instagram, so there should be lots of outfit inspiration over on there too. And one more thing, I love hearing from you all, so don't forget to let me know your favorite outfit I featured today in the comments section below. Right, let's get started. If there's one style hack that all stylists seem to use from time to time that pretty much always makes people look more expensive and chic, it would be the very simple oversize me trick. There's a nonchalant Parisian vibe to it, a sort of effortless nature that always manages to look stylish and obviously it's incredibly easy to do. The trick would be to not be tempted to oversize your entire outfit but just pick one element, so your coat, a jumper, or a blazer. If you follow that simple rule, it will hopefully remind you to balance out the rest of your look. I personally like using this style hack with a coat. I find that's the easiest way to do it. So here you can see I'm wearing some dark blue Everlane skinny jeans. These are actually high waist version, probably the only high waist jeans I actually like on myself. They're a really nice fit. So obviously they're quite slimline as they're quite tight on me. I've paired them with an equally slimline vest top that I got from Reese, done in this lovely blush tone. On my feet, as you can see, I'm wearing my little mid heel sandals and then finished off with my lovely Palem Paris handbag. So everything I'm wearing underneath that coat is pretty slimline and the oversize me element is of course my trench coat. Regardless of trying to look expensive and chic, I personally just love an oversized trench coat on top of an outfit like this. However, as that is the subject of today's video, it is one style hack that I see time and time again, both on the runway and also with all the fashionistas watching the runway. Taking a look at the high street, I found these beautiful options around at the minute. So next time you're looking to invest in a new coat, a jumper, or maybe a blazer, have a think whether it would look right if you sized up. It's a very simple and popular style hack that always manages to make your outfits look expensive and chic. It's not what you wear, but how you wear it. Try and think a little bit differently about how you wear your outfit ideas, and your overall look in the end will thank you for it later. Could you wear your coat on your shoulders? Could you layer a jumper over the top? Add a belt on top of a blazer or even hold your handbag differently to normal. It's all about those little details that can make a huge difference. Here you can see I'm styling my loose fit blue wash denim jeans with a little camisole top underneath that's just got a tiny bit of lace detailing. I seem to search out those pieces that have just got a tiny detail that makes them just a little bit different. So with this look I wanted to cinch my waist in a little bit more so I've added my tan leather belt and then I've gone for a little bit of extra height and elongating my shape with my high heels that I got from Cezanne last summer. Sadly, they are sold out. I get asked this all the time about those shoes. I think people love them as much as I do. But if they do come back in stock or if I find an alternative, I will link that in the description box below. As you can see, I've layered my white linen blazer over my shoulders rather than wearing it in the traditional way. And for some strange reason, it does make the entire outfit look expensive and more chic as a result. And obviously, like the style hack before, it's very easy to do, and they're my favorite kind of style hacks. I found this beautiful coat recently that you could easily drape across your shoulders for that perfectly nonchalant, this old thing kind of polish. And that's what it's about really, trying to look like you just skipped out the door and threw your coat over your shoulders. You might have planned this outfit to with an inch of its life, but the trick is to not look like you have. Whether you're fond of print or not, when you're trying to make your outfits look expensive and chic and super stylish, I personally would try and avoid it. For me, elevated, polished, really refined outfit ideas 
tend to go out of kilter a little bit when you put a print into the mix. There are some that get it right, but I don't think it's easy. So I personally like to stick with a palette of neutrals to play it safe. But like I mentioned before in my how to style neutrals video, if you missed that, I shall add a link to it in the description box below. But in there, I was trying to stress that neutrals don't have to be boring, far from it. So this next outfit idea, as you can see, is pretty minimal and neutral. I've gone with a plain, organic, slightly oversized t-shirt that I got from Marquette. They do brilliant t-shirts, by the way, that are really cost-effective. And on my bottom half, I'm wearing my camel, high-waisted, paper bag trousers. That tone of camel just makes my heart sing. I can never resist it, which is probably why I've got an awful lot of that shade in my own capsule wardrobe. I wanted to keep the overall look very low key and relaxed, so I've gone with trainers on my feet and then elevated it back up again with my new handbag. This is the Numero D Hobo that I got recently from Palem Paris. Steering clear of too much print and sticking with a palette of neutrals, in my experience, always pays off in your outfit ideas. Taking a look across the high street, I found some really beautiful neutral pieces at the moment from all different price points, so there should be something for everyone. As always, I shall link everything I feature in the description box below. Say you're wearing one very minimal outfit idea like this next look. You've focused on your fabric content, you've bought the highest quality you can afford, everything is neatly pressed and polished and feeling lovely against your skin. Sometimes then adding a vintage piece to finish it off can really elevate the entire look. Firstly, vintage for me is both visually and emotionally interesting. There's a story to tell, a history to that piece and the people who've worn it before, and I just love that. And now more than ever, there are some amazing places to shop vintage pieces, both higher end and high street places. Secondly, when thinking about how to look expensive and chic, there's obviously a timeless quality about buying vintage. Go for that handbag that will never date, a coat you know will keep coming back in fashion time and time again, or a beautifully tailored pair of trousers that will work all year round. I love adding the odd statement vintage piece into an outfit idea, not just because of how it looks, but how it makes me feel as well. And thirdly, of course, it's the most sustainable way to shop. While you're making yourself look and feel all elevated and polished, you're also doing your bit for the planet at the same time, which is arguably the most stylish thing of all. While some would say this is a really old-fashioned style hack, I personally really love a bit of shoes and handbag coordination. It just adds that all-important full stop at the end of my outfit sentence and makes me feel complete. Now, I'm not saying I always integrate this style trick into my outfit ideas, but when I want to look a little more polished, expensive and chic, it's a really easy tip to reach for. In this outfit idea, I've gone with a beautiful pastel pink blouse with that really pretty detailing around the shoulders and it goes across the back as well. Now this top can sometimes feel a little bit top heavy, so I've started styling it by tying it in a knot at the waistband. That just helps to give me a little more shape and bring in my waist a bit more. So I've styled it with my white denim jeans that I got a couple of months ago. And the matchy-matchy element, of course, is my shoes and my handbag. But those two elements in the outfit really bring it all together and make it feel complete. And this style hack will work no matter what you're wearing. So you could be in a dress with a coat or a skirt and some jeans. Making sure your shoes and your handbag match will just bring it all together. And while we're on that subject, I gladly had a little look across the high street for all the handbags and shoes that would rock this look perfectly. Does anyone else get really annoyed with some high street stores that you shop at and you're trying to be more ethical and sustainable choosing from those specific ranges and then the thing turns up screwed up in a ball in a plastic bag? It's a real bugbear of mine. Would it hurt them to just iron the item? Anyway, my point being that some items can look like an old rag when they arrive and then look completely different once you've ironed them. It's probably one of the reasons I don't ever do a true unboxing video literally straight out of the box or straight out of the bag because I just can't bring myself to share something with you that is creased to within an inch of its life, I, I feel better if I iron it perfectly first. So my point being with this very long waffle is to give everything you have and that you wear its best shot. Treat everything as though it cost you a few hundred pounds, from the simple t-shirt you bought for under 20 pounds 
to the blow the budget statement dress you treated yourself to. Treat them as equals and they'll repay you in polish. Freshly press pieces before you put them on. Cut off any loose threads. Sew on any missing buttons. Hang everything once you've finished wearing them. If you really take care of the clothes you do have, it will honestly make a huge difference, not only for your outfit ideas to look expensive, but they'll last longer too, which is always a good idea. Keep your eyes open for pleated clothes, be it with a dress, a skirt, or maybe just a detail on a top. It will always add a little je ne sais quoi to any outfit. Obviously, the very nature of pleats themselves look very polished and put together. I think pleats can be tricky to style because, say with a skirt, it can make you look bigger than you actually are. So I think it's really important to find the right fit that's flattering and suits your shape. But I've had this beautiful dress in my capsule wardrobe for a while now, and I love the pleated detail made out of that gorgeous broderie on glace. I've kept the styling really low key and just paired it with my gold sandals that I got from a brand called Espadrille and then finished with my Santa Monica gold chain handbag which ties in that tone nicely. I deliberately didn't add jewellery to this because I wanted the line of my neck to be really clear and simple so I've tied my hair back to really accentuate that as well. You've no doubt heard this style hack before when it comes to making your outfits look expensive and chic but it's a classic for a reason, so definitely worth another mention. Going all white, or all anything for that matter, has a wonderful knack at making any outfit look expensive, elegant, and sophisticated. I actually do wear tonal outfits quite a lot myself, not necessarily to look expensive as such, but just because I love the effect as an outfit idea. It feels crisp and fresh, so in this outfit idea, I wanted to just go for that real simplicity, very basic staple pieces. So I've paired my white denim jeans with a high quality white linen shirt. I always seem to roll the sleeves back on shirts. I very rarely wear them down. I don't know if that's a style hack or a personal taste, but I do think it looks better to see a little bit of skin on your forearms, especially when you're doing a tonal look. I tried out adding a tan belt, a black belt with this look, but it kind of ruined it. So I've kept it really simple with no belt at all. And I've finished it with my neutral heels and my chalk handbag. So do have a good look through your own wardrobe at the tonal outfits you can make. And it certainly doesn't have to be white or cream. It can be any one color look. It's that that really helps make your outfits look expensive and stylish. Be a better shopper. A style hack I'm sure many of you won't mind practicing it. But in all seriousness, there's a few elements to this one. Firstly, buying the highest quality you can afford will always pay off in your outfit ideas. I often search via fabric content. So here, for example, I've literally typed linen, which has brought me up a selection of beautiful pieces in a fabric I know is within my budget. My go-to fabrics for everyday wear through spring, summer, would be cotton, linen, tensile, and occasionally silk if it's affordable. If you start by searching the fabric you're after, you can save yourself a lot of time searching your favorite high street stores. Another point on this would be to search via the shape you're looking for, i.e. oversized, like we mentioned before. Then you could refine your search further and only tick for the fabrics you'd be happy to add to basket. And voila, you've got your own little capsule wardrobe right there. Also, before shopping for anything, I'd always have a good look through my own wardrobe to double check what I do have and where the gaps are. Then I write a list of what I actually need. It stops you getting distracted by shiny things along the way and can help keep your focus for those key pieces you're actually after. It doesn't always work, I won't add, but I do try. I do love a sprinkle of jewellery, but if you're particularly wanting to make your outfits look expensive and chic, I would say keep it down to just one or two pieces. It can really help with the overall look. And stick to one stone colour. Don't mix your metals either. Really simple style hack, but it is easy to forget. Particularly in summer for me when I have a tendency to just keep piling on jewellery in a little bohemian fashion. But this style hack harps back to the simplicity and elegance of less is more. Keeping things tonal, refined, elegant and minimal will have the same effect on your outfits. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and found my tips and tricks helpful and hopefully you'll find them really easy to integrate into your own outfit ideas. Don't forget to let me know your favourite outfit idea that I've shared today in the comments section below or maybe you've got a tip that you'd like to share with the other subscribers 
something that you always reach for yourself in your own outfit ideas to make them look more stylish and expensive. It's always really lovely to hear from you all. Don't forget, if you're not already, I would be very grateful if you'd like to subscribe. And also the link to follow my daily style pictures over on Instagram is in the description box below. I'll be back next Sunday with more outfit ideas and inspirations. So hopefully you will join me then. Take care.